talking about brophy mounts and the position on the bed of the Rogue EA1. And let's look here, we got a little difference here. So this is the uh, shackles you can buy from Brophy or the Brophy kit for them. And this is the mount and I ended up getting lucky. I put this uh, Brophy mount as far back as I could um, on the bed. And I put this one over here as far forward as I could. Because um, I wanted the, the mount to come this way. Now you see this is in not, this is not a brophy mount, um, and this is temporary because what I'm going to have to do is move this mount back here so that the long brophy mount can come this way and attach. So when you read the instructions for the mounts, um, they say ultimately you want this one forward of that, so it's curving down this way and you want that mount forward so it curves that way. Well, the secondary or um, second recommendation is that you have it curving down in this way. So, because I can't fit this long turnbuckle here, I'm gonna have to move this inwards. All right, so that's that subject. Now let's check out the space over here. I did think it was a little strange that they give us these big space blocks here, spacing blocks, um, and you have, you know, two and a half inches kind of a wasted space there. But, a couple things. Um, if your arm's skinny enough, or you maybe ask your wife, you can reach down there and get the cord that plugs in. Um, your seven way that plugs in here. You do need a little room to reach this stuff. Um, there are some vents or at least one vent, I think, for the battery back here. Uh, there's this little holder, which I'm not exactly sure what it's for. So if you know what that is, let me know. And if we can move up a couple inches, this six and a half foot bed, then this guy here could move back a couple inches. But even that is not gonna be enough. To, in order to close this tailgate, I have to get to here. This edge has to be back to here, and that's a full six inches or so there. So a seven foot bed, you could probably close the tailgate. The reason I'd wanna close the tailgate is because I have my backup camera on here, so it beeps like crazy, um, thinking that I'm about to hit something because the ground is right there. Now, one odd thing I see when I look at this is it looks like the camper is over on this side instead of being spaced evenly here and here so we've got a good five or six inches right here and we've only got three or four over here well if we look at the actual spacing um, up here and here I'm pretty close and so we have kind of a bump out here I look back in here. It goes inwards back in there. And this one's a straight wall going back. Straight wall. So what matters really is spacing that's here and what's the spacing which translates down into between the wheel well and the inside wall in there. So, I guess they bumped it out a little to fit this guy here, which has our propane tank. Would be kind of a cool little storage if you weren't using propane. It'd be a nice little beach storage in there. Some or some camping gear. But uh, those are kind of the fit things. Now, one guy on the beach asked me why there's so much space between here and here. Um, it's about six inches there. Why is there so much space there? And I figured it was just for people that have, already have racks on their truck. Um, maybe there are certain trucks that are higher or lower. And maybe there's, there's some amount of flex of this thing on the road 
bouncing up and down. So it could be any of those reasons, but um, I'm not gonna worry about it, obviously. Now, in another video we'll mention, and I'm gonna just point it out, you see that little bump of black there? That's uh, part of the collapsible roof that got stuck in between the side because you really gotta tuck this thing in as you pull it down. Now they say you can turn on the fan and it will suck in the sides while you're lowering, but we have an air conditioner in there and then another kind of a weak roof vent, a little wimpy thing that doesn't um, suck those sides in. So I might replace that with uh, Max Air or, you know, something more powerful so that it does do that because it's a pain to have to come out here, um, step on the tire or the rail and kind of tuck in those sides as you go around. All right. See you later for the next video.